Hey guys, it's Friday, so I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made Question. Question is one of my most popular instrumentals, so I'm going to be breaking it down for you today, showing you how I put it together piece by piece, and hopefully you can pick something up that will help you with your own production. Okay, so as you heard in the intro of this video, this track has a load of samples. I have all my samples put into battery four here, and this is where I just chopped them up and made them clean. And then I've, put, I've mapped them to my Akai MPK Mini. So each pad triggers a different sample. People have been asking me how to actually do this, and it's very simple. You have to think of the pads as actual keyboard notes, because that's what they are. Each pad represents a note on the keyboard so if you have your, your samples and you're playing them on your keyboard you just have to figure out what notes each pad is so I know that this top pad here is C1 so it's the same as the keyboard C1 If you can't figure out what um, notes your pads are, right and click, customize control bar and display. MIDI activity in and out. Whoops. Save. You don't need to save it actually, you can just come out of it. Now in this corner here, in this corner here it will tell you what note you're playing. <laughs> Okay, so once you know what notes each pad is, you can go about putting your sample on the actual note. This is very simply done on battery 4, but it's also simply done on ultra beat. On battery 4, all you have to do is head over to key range, click the little MIDI icon, the 5 pin icon, and then press the note that you want it to be twice. The first time for where it's for where the sample starts, which note it starts on, and the second time for which note it ends on. If you was to do, say, a C, and then a G, it would stretch the sample across all the notes in between. This is good for 808s if you want booms that are pitched, that works well. But if you want a sample just to play back on one note, press the same note twice. <laughs> So that's how I started the track. Okay, so as you noticed, um, I have the samples and the kick playing at the same time. Um, this just gives it a nice, uh, solid groove and foundation for the track. Okay, um, you may be wondering why I have all my samples on one track, but um, if I bring up the mixer, you can see that I'm actually using a multi um kit. And what that means is that although I'm using one instance of battery, so one battery um, plugin, I have all my drums coming out of different channels, so then I can mix them separately. My samples are coming out of different channels. Um, this is perfect if you want to mix on the fly. Um, there's certain processes that I do um, just as I'm producing, just for inspiration. Like, so on the clap, I've put a, a sample delay to widen it. If you would like for me to do a tutorial on how to make a multi timbre instrument, just put it in the comment section below either Ultra Beat or Battery. If I get 20 people requesting this, then I'll make a video. So put it down in the comment section below. Don't be afraid to use Apple Loops. Um, it's almost like sampling in a way. 
I use it mainly. I use them mainly for percussion sometimes, um, for like shakers, tambourines. And in this beat, I actually used two apple loops and chopped them up and mixed them, mixed them together to make them sound my own and more original. So that's something you could do. Don't be afraid to use apple loops. Just chop them up, make them sound like they're yours. Push me. Okay, so once the drums were finished, I then put a velocity processor on them just to make sure every um, sample was hitting as hard as it possibly could. Um, I used the maximize velocity setting. Okay, so now for the main synth, I used a Logic stock patch called Classic Brass Pad. Lovely sounding synth. Okay, so then I threw those two guitar samples in right at the end of the loop. Okay, so that was the first part of the verse. I then just duplicated that. Oh, hungry, it's early morning, early. Whew. I haven't had no breakfast yet. Okay, so now for the second part of the verse, I wanted to introduce something new. So I have a bass line here. And then we move on to the chorus. So the chorus has the same instruments, but then I introduce a, um, I introduce some strings and a synth called Sync Bass, which sounds like this. <laughs> Just to add some grit to the chorus, some energy, it really energises um, this next part of the song. Chords are G major, A minor, F major, D major, F major. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. D major, F major, A minor. Okay, so it goes like this. So I'm chopping all the last notes at the end um, of the chorus just to have, to have a, a nice drop um, before it goes back into the second cycle of the chorus and it really pronunciates that um, oh my life, my goodness, I need to eat it really pronunciates the question at the um, end of the chorus so the strings are doing the same thing as the uh, synth, nothing special there, so I'm just gonna copy those in, save a bit of time. All right, so that's the bass and then the Synced bass does the same thing, so I'll copy those in. All together now.
So yeah, that was the beat really. Um, I hope you picked something up from this clip. Um, again, if you want me to do a multiple output um, video um, regarding Battery 4 or the Ultra Beat, just put it in the comment section below, just saying Battery 4 or Ultra Beat. I'll do a video on both, um, regardless of how many say Ultra Beat or how many say Battery. But um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you picked something up. And if you like the video, please put a comment in the comment section below. Hit that like button and give me a share. That would be awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.